Hi, my name is Heather Leopard, and today I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy little mini album using one piece of 12 by 12 cardstock. So this is the cardstock that I'm starting out with, and what you're going to do first is you're going to cut it into three 6 by 6 inch squares. And once you have those cut, you're actually going to score them. So the first score that you're going to do is going to be in half at three, and then you're going to turn it once and do another at three and then you're actually going to turn it diagonally one time and score it again in half. So there you have it. And once you do this you can actually fold it in half a little bit on the two half lines and then you want to fold the diagonal in a little bit. So you're going to do, you're going to repeat this with your other two pieces of cardstock that you cut. And I've already done that today. So the next step is to start gluing it together. So you're going to take this first piece and your second piece and you're going to overlap one of the non-scored rectangles and glue it down. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do is just apply your glue liberally and attach the first piece down, making sure that it's square on there. Okay, then you're going to take your other piece and glue it to the other square. And again, you're taking the, the sides that are not scored together. And I want to also say that um, I actually got this idea off of YouTube some time ago and I tried to look up the video that I actually saw originally and I couldn't find it so I can't take credit for it and I would love to give credit where credit's due but it's not possible at this time. Okay so now you let this dry and once it's all dried you can actually fold it all up together. So this is how it will fold. together and the album will look like this. Okay, so now it's time to start decorating. So what you first want to do is you actually want to cut six two and three quarter by two and three quarter squares. Okay, and these are what you will use to actually decorate the little triangles that you have on your mini album. Um, once you cut them into two and three quarter by two and three quarter squares, you'll actually cut them diagonally and then you can set them aside. So I've already cut mine. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just start applying them. And you could actually cut them to a three by three, but I wanted some of the pink to show up in the background. Um, I wanted to kind of have it frame up my little triangles here. As you can see, I uh, did some stitching. I st chose stitching over doodling. Okay, so the next thing I did after I adhered all of my triangles down was I cut four two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths white squares and I'm going to mount those right here and this is where we'll actually put the photos. Alright, next you're wanna, going to want to cut two more squares. You can use cardstock or pattern paper, whatever you want to do. These are going to be your front and back cover um, and I cut these the same size as my inside frames or my photo mats. And then I also cut two strips of ribbon. They're about five to six inches long. And these will be what you use to actually close your mini album. So go ahead and apply your ribbon. I like to use Fabri-Tac. And actually what I do like to do first is I like to heat seal my ribbon so that it won't fray. So I just get a little fire to them and it just kind of um, you know seals the edges for you. So just get a little bit of Fabri-Tac on there. And 
And then we are going to adhere the cover and the back cover. And the two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths will just give you a little bit of a frame around it so that you can see the pink. And then we'll do the same thing again to the back. Just a little bit. And there you go. So there's your front and back cover. So now it's just time to decorate it. So one thing that I forgot to tell you is that you actually need ribbon on both sides underneath the paper. That way you can tie it all nicely and it'll stay closed. You could actually also get another longer piece on one end and wrap it around and tie it that way. Um, but I just chose to have it, you know, tied on both sides here. All right, so now it's time to decorate. Um, I'm using these cute little die cuts that are with the Imaginus line, and I'll just adhere them right here. And then I also am going to use these Rolly Posies um, and my little petal roller to make a really cute little flower here. It's super, super quick and easy. What? have my little helpers in here with me today so you might hear a few peeps from them there you go okay so now I've got my flower and I'm just gonna go ahead and glue it on to the front here there we go and I've I, I love to fussy cut, so I actually fussy cut this little dress out of some of the pattern paper, and I think it would look really cute if I slide it up into there. And then I also fussy cut this cute little girl. So I'm going to actually place her where my O is. I think I might use a pop dot. There we go. I think she'd look cute popped up here. And then I'm going to go ahead and decorate the inside of my album somewhat similarly. But this will give you a good idea of how quick and easy it can be to create a little mini album of your own. So you can actually keep this for yourself or you can give it to a grandparent or maybe a daddy um, or maybe you have someone who is having a baby soon like I do.